been a long while since my last update. I did the last update in April and now it's July. So uh, it's been a while. I've been quite busy with other things, with my other collections. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to show you what I am speaking about when I'm t saying that I have an working on another collection. This is actually, there's an 80% chance that if I'm saying I'm working on another collection, then I'm working on something with in this room. The room was designed by me and my husband and I built it together by hand, mostly handheld tools. There's um, all kinds of stuff here. So anyway, there's a good chance that I'm working on something in this room and there's no Swarovski here. So anyway, perhaps I'll continue, I'll talk about this room at some point later, but there's no Swarovski here. And you're here for Swarovski, so I'll start with these figurines. Once again, you'll find the product numbers, release data and the official names in the video description, so you, it'll help you to buy the figurines if you want something and these are not my full collection the full collection has as of to date over 1200 swarovski crystal creations so these are just the newest purchases in my collection and starting here water lily candle holder large and small my friend helped me buy this these were not a high priority for me but uh, I love how they sparkle. There's just nothing that sparkles like Swarovski. Then we have a bunch of grapes. These are one of the American and Canadian exclusive grapes. This is the 15 grape large bunch. I'm mostly missing the rhodium grapes right now. But uh, this was a very very special thing which my friend helped me buy then we have one of the Swarovski Crystal Society annual editions from the Masquerade trilogy I like the rose especially but uh, it was an impulse purchase I don't like human figurines as a rule and I like humans even less um, anyway we have 2024 release this is autumn from the autumn collection and most of the autumn collection as of today uh, is still unreleased but the pictures leaked online quite a while ago and the christmas ornaments for 2024 are absolutely to die for there are candy canes and you're gonna love these i well, i suspect you're gonna love them they are beautiful and I can't wait for you to see them, but I have uh, three figurines from the Autumn Collection in my shelves right now. And I'll show the two others in a bit. But this is the Mushroom with Ladybird, or Ladybugs for you Americans. And then we have one of the Crystal Memories doll. This is an older piece. I don't like her face. I think she's ugly. But I like her clothes, and she was a bargain, so I bought her. Then we have an older table bell. There are three or four, I think three different sizes of this bell. And this one should be in the middle in size. And then we have this tea light. With the beautiful heart and I love these finds. I really really like this design. I should probably buy some lead candles. I never hold an open fire inside my home. Um, I'm afraid of fire for good reason but let's not get into that. Then I have something very special. This is a um, well, not usually considered figurines, at least in Finnish retailer, Finnish retailer stores have these display cabinets that hold about a dozen of these crystal prisms, and they are not for sale. 
they are for display purposes only. But I found a retailer who was um, selling off their store and all their displays. And I managed to buy this one. This set of five from set of 12. They are all... Um, there are there are only five colors, if I'm correct. Or the retailer only had these five colors. So multiples of each color. They are very nice, really great quality. Then we have from yet another, I don't like Disney, but this is the Aladdin Magic Lamp Ornament. This is actually as of to date uh, and during most of July, Swarovski has a sale going on. So if you want to buy some discounts, Swarovski, now is a really good time to shop online. So I think this is a really nice piece. Then we have Dolce's Sweets ornaments, these candy ornaments. These were a gift from my husband. He wanted to surprise me. And he did. I very much like the left one. Not so much the right one, but it was on my wish list. So he made good choices, like he usually does. Then we have Swarovski Crystal Society annual uh, own. Well, they made them. Um, they used to do the golden shade ornaments for members only. And in 2020... They changed into these larger, flashier ornaments, which are only available in one color and one design. And I'm not sure if the designer, I think the designer was Tork Bontje. Um, I am not sure about that at all. My memory is really bad and it's even worse with names. So, but they were supposed to retire these ornaments after only one year of production but this came available on Swarovski's website so I snatched it up then we have the chubby cats now these are still in production the pink cat has also pink stripes on his forehead and the blue cat has yellow cheeks the red cat doesn't seem to have any markings other than the cute pink heart-shaped nose, but it's a really pretty trio. I like them. Kind of a ball-shaped cat. Then we have a teddy bear. Now, I'm the world's biggest teddy bear hater, and I, I don't know why I hate teddy bears. And I don't collect teddy bears except that I wanted the hedgehog. I'll talk about that in a moment. But I wanted the hedgehog and the seller wouldn't sell it without the uh, bear. And I wasn't, I didn't have the bear. So now it's on my shelf and I'm contemplating if I should give it up or keep it at least for a while. Then we have Asian symbols. The rabbit, which was also retired. You might find it on sale if you're lucky check your Swarovski website this one is a cutie it's much bigger than I thought um, you should always check the measurements before you buy but I don't I just uh, buy and sometimes I get really happily uh, happily surprised by the size of what I've bought this one is a real cutie then we have um, uh, one of the hedgehogs this is an older hedgehog uh, I have several different size versions. This was one of the few that I was missing. I'm still looking for the uh, King Hedgehog in this design. But um, I desperately wanted this. So now it's here. Then we have a giraffe. I think this was called Nohea or Nohea. I have no idea how they wanted that one to be pronounced. Uh, it's a bit modern with no eyes but uh, I like the ears and I like the horns too um, I am not so keen on this snail 
um, it's an older piece and I hate snails as well. My garden is infested with snails and I absolutely loathe them. And this one is, uh, it has a smug smile on its face and the snails eat my strawberries, they eat my vegetables and I hate snails. So I have no idea why I have so many snails on my shelves, but yeah, that's logic. Then we have, these are from the 2024 Autumn Collection. Like I mentioned earlier, these, the owl and the squirrel. There will be a larger squirrel, uh, or at least a more expensive squirrel, released later. Uh, it's not yet on Swarovski's official website. Now, if you check the official photos for the squirrel, you'll see that the tail, the legs and the ears are a different color from the body. But it's not as... Um, I think the official photo is uglier than the figurine itself. Um, I would have passed by this figurine and not bought it, but I went to a store uh, which was actually stocking the squirrel and immediately when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It's, a, it's actually a very cute figurine and the different color in the ears is not as disruptive as I thought it would be. The owl has this frost, frosted flakes on top of his head and it's atrociously cute. Then we have, this is um, the first Swarovski Crystal Society Annual Edition Lovebirds from the 80s. So I finally managed to buy one. It's a really cute one. And then we have the annual bell ornament from 2017. They take a lot of shelf space and I haven't actually bought them uh, as such immediately. But uh, sometimes I come across them uh, with a very, very cheap price and then I give up and just buy it. So I am constantly worrying about lacking shell space. Then we'll go, let's go here. We have a Dear Santa, Santa Claus, Letter to Santa ornament, I think. Letter to Santa autumn ornament. Now, Dear Santa, marked on it. Now, this is the ornament that I have spoke of. I've spoken about this ornament so many times that people are probably hoping I'll choke on this ornament. Now, this one was first um, marketed with a photo where it looked so much darker. It looked very dark, dark purplish. And then they released it and with a, a much lighter photo. And I was able to determine that these pieces, the center stone is actually from this gift with purchase little star ornament from 2023 and the petals in this ornament are from this cherry blossom garden tails cherry blossom possibly from the i think the magnet version uses the same petals as this one they look different size because they are attached here now this um i'm not against reusing pieces like this. I'm going to show the box to you really quickly. So this was available only in USA and Canada and I'm not a, against reusing pieces like this. This is actually a very beautiful ornament and I'm not so keen on this uh, trend where they have just uh, taken um, an ornament that they have released before and they just change a hanger and a ribbon and they give it a new name and sell that. I'm not that keen on that, but this is uh, something, this looks new. So I like this design. I very much like this design. Um, actually, this year they did, um, if you check Swarovski's website, they have released a swan uh, with new flying swan design. Uh, it's a Swarovski Crystal Society exclusive swan. Uh, with the Aurora Boreal coating, but it's actually uh, a swan that they released uh, in either 2022 or 2023, 
and it's the small version of the swan and they just coat it with the aurora boreal so um, i'll probably buy one anyway but you can determine if it's worth buying or not so it's basically just the same figurine but with aurora boreal coating then we have here this is one of the heirloom ornaments i have the box here it's very different i have no idea why or why it's so different from swarovski's usual style they made three different shapes uh, i'm gonna try to buy the two other other ornaments as well but this is these were only available in us and canada and only for 2004 so in the year 2004 they are very special but i like the style i really like the style it's very colorful very, very traditional which is a gives a good for the heirloom name and then finally i have the new york flagship uh, ornament this now this ornament was sold only in the new york flagship store and I was excited about it, but uh, if we compare it with this, this is the 2023 annual ornament. And the small version, little star ornament, and you compare the cuts, it's actually, this is in size between those two. So it's um, in the middle of those two in size, and the shape is a bit rounded so it doesn't lie flat. I'm gonna lift it a bit so you can see the uh, shape like <laughs> turn now yeah so it doesn't lie flat like the other so it looks a bit different but basic basically it's the same cut apparently and it's just um, glued a bit different and the sizes size is different and the ribbon is different so that's the new york flagship store exclusive ornament i have no idea when they are going to retire the piece but uh, if you're looking for one i recommend ebay and i recommend you buy it fast if you want it because uh, there's a good chance they will discontinue it at some point and it'll probably become very rare so buying one now is probably a good investment if you want to own that one in your collection without paying an arm and a leg for it so anyway uh, those are the new figurines in my collection and i'll try to make my next update sooner and not in two months time see you then